So here is uh, the last few steps you'll need to finish off and submit your project. So here we will pretend that I am all the way done with this project. It's close to being done. I just need a few more varieties of strokes and fills around these polygons. A few more ellipses, again, with varieties of strokes and fills. Again, a few more uh, pen tool shapes and a few more shapes in here. So remember to um, make sure you're shapes have some of these textured strokes around them. Um, so I showed you in two of those uh, last videos how to add that texture stroke, so make sure a few of your shapes, is, shapes in each box have a textured stroke. They don't all need to, as long as some of them have, have that. All right, <clears throat> so to save this as a PDF for submission, here's what you do. So first you wanna make sure you're saving your work regularly. So um, I'll just call this project a one dot AI. So first I'm just going to make sure I have an, an Adobe Illustrator file saved on my computer somewhere. Okay. So dot AI means it's the Adobe Illustrator file. So that's if you, if you're going to keep working on your project, uh, make sure it's an Adobe Illustrator file. If you're going to move it from computer to computer, make sure it's a note in Adobe Illustrator file. Okay. So first, um, so you should end up with two copies of your project um, before you turn in. So I'm just going to save this to the desktop. So always choose where you're going to save this um, so you know where all your projects are. And having a good folder um, <clears throat> just to keep all your documents and things organized is a good way to do it. All right, so it's pretty simple there to save as that Adobe Illustrator file. So notice right here on the top of my project, it now says project01.ai. So that's all you can you can check what type of file it is by um, what comes after the period, and then the name of the file as well. All right. So for you to submit, you're going to want to save it as a PDF file. We're going to submit all our projects as a PDF file. Um, so that's going to be the best way to do it. It's a good file for presentations, uh, for sending out resumes, for sending out um, different artwork and things like that. All right. So to save it as a PDF file, you're going to go to File save as okay so the naming for this make sure your uh, file is named correctly so it's your first and last name so I'm gonna do Andrew steers for mine underscore project 01 okay so just remember that so make sure your first and last name is in the title of the file okay um, so it's gonna be saved again to my desktop which is fine even though my desktop is kind of messy right now. Then I'm going to choose Adobe PDF. Adobe PDF. Okay. Hit save. Now there's a few things here, uh, just a few settings to do. So you want this first box here under options, preserve Illustrator editing capabilities. You want to uncheck that box. Um, you want to uncheck it so when I get that file, I won't accidentally delete or move anything around on your, on your file. Then go over here to compression. This will just make the file a little bit smaller. Um, so I'm not downloading huge um, files from Canvas. So where it says do not down, down sample, change that to average down sampling 2. Same with for all of these ones. Average down sampling 2. Average down sampling 2. And for the output, the, uh, these settings will just make sure your colors don't get messed up. They probably shouldn't get messed up. Uh, on this simple project, but in the future you will definitely need to do this. So under color conversion, change it to convert to destination parentheses preserve numbers and then profile inclusion policy, switch that to include destination profiles. Okay, now I'll just make sure your colors are all good. Click save PDF. This is just a warning telling you that you uncheck that preserve, preserve Illustrator editing capabilities box, which is fine. Hit OK. All right, so now if you notice, this changed to .pdf. So this is now the PDF file. So make sure you always have those two copies of the files, the Illustrator version and the PDF version. That's why I did that file save first um, before I saved the PDF version. So if I need to go back and edit anything, I'm going to be editing the Adobe Illustrator version. Okay, so now I'm going to look for that file. Here it is. Um, and always open it up on your own computer and see what it looks like.
So there we go. So this looks good. Everything's in there. My colors look pretty much the same. So this would be ready to go. So then I will just go to Canvas here, uh, click on Project 1, Submit Assignment, choose File right here, and then I will go find my file. Uh, it should be on here somewhere. Oh, here it is. So there's my uh, file, okay? And then I would just click open and upload it that way. And then it should pop up in Canvas just to make sure that it, uh, so just confirm that it gets uploaded and gets saved there. Um, and that will be it for this project.